Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Chris and this is the A Glimpse Inside YouTube channel. In this video, you're getting two for one. I'm going to show you how I made the items we did in the giveaway. One's a mouse pad, one's a wine display. Details are in this video. Stick around, see how we did it. Alright guys, well let's get started. First up, the mouse pad. This thing's going to be made from quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. I rip it down on the table saw and then cross cut it to length. The dimensions are seven and a half inches by nine and a half inches. I have some raw leather here along with some pre-dyed leather. I don't make one in this video with the pre-dyed leather, but that's okay. I'm going to take you through the process of the raw leather. I make my cuts thusly with a X-Acto knife and then use some contact cement. I go ahead and give it a nice thick coat because leather can be porous. Let that dry for about 15 minutes, apply some pressure, and I go ahead and clamp it down with every clamp I got in the shop, man. Especially this old one. I got this from an estate sale. I think it's from the 1940s. This thing's pretty badass. Okay, let that dry for about an hour, unclamp it all, and that bond is absolutely permanent. That leather and that plywood are going nowhere. At this point, I installed a brand new razor into my utility knife because I want to make sure that these cuts are extremely accurate. I take the mouse pads over to the disc sander and I round over the edges, giving a nice clean finish. Now I take a maple burnisher and burnish that leather edge down to that plywood along with dyeing the edges black, or I guess a coffee stain if you will. This is leather dye, but it works really well on wood too. I go ahead and finish off the mouse pads with a little bit of olive oil, putting a nice coat on there, and to finish it all up, a little bit of wax, not too much, just to kind of give it a nice finishing touch and a nice feel. Well, there it is, guys, all finished, ready to go. And what's up next? The wine display. Look at that thing, just hovering in midair. I'll show you how you make it now. I start off by taking a piece of black walnut that I had. I go ahead and trace out the wine bottle to give me a rough estimate of what size this is going to be. I go ahead and blue tape off half of it, putting a straight line down the center. I get some utility paper and I go ahead and take that tape and I transfer the line over, folding it in half, cutting that profile out just like this, which gives me an exact symmetrical left and right of this wine bottle pattern. A quick little trick to trace it out is spray it with a little bit of black spray paint. There you go. I make my way to the bandsaw to go ahead and cut this profile out. This is kind of a rough wine bottle shape to kind of, you know, tell you it's a wine bottle holder. I don't know, just something we came up with on the fly. Go ahead and cut these edges as close to the line as possible and make your way over to the drum sander. Now, this is a simple drum sanding attachment on the drill press. I believe I got this attachment from Harbor Freight. Nothing too fancy here, but man, it comes in handy. I go ahead and trim off the bottom at the cross cut sled and cut this to a 33 degree angle. That happens to work really well with the size of material I'm using. Here I'm taking a few careful measurements to go ahead and make sure that this hole is going to be drilled right into the center of this display. I use an inch and 5 eighths Forstner bit to put a hole right through it. Of course I got a piece of scrap underneath to prevent blowout. And there you go. A quick chamfer around the edge of this circle, nothing more than about an eighth of an inch or so on both sides. And now it's time for a test fit. Looks pretty good, man. And actually I do a little thing here where I try to test the durability if it's gonna stay up or not. Back and forth, back and forth. Looks like it's found its center of gravity pretty well. Now I make my way back to the router and I put an eighth inch chamfer over the entire piece. Give it a nice sanding, get rid of some of those pencil marks, and now it's time to apply some finish. Actually, just before finishing, I like to go over with some hand sanding. This is 220 grit. That's pretty much all you need for this kind of a piece, but a nice hand sanding will do you good. Now, some mineral spirits is applied to clean up all that dust and to kind of reveal the grain and the color that this walnut's gonna have. And after that, once that mineral spirits is dried up, I put a liberal coat of tongue oil on the front, back, and sides, rub it in. Man, tongue oil is beautiful on walnut. Don't you agree? And there you go, look, it still works. But before it's all said and done, I put a few coats of spray lacquer on it to give it a nice, durable finish. And now, to put it to the ultimate test, it looks like she was using it pretty good for a minute, but she decides that she wants to go ahead and eat the mouse instead. Hey, I can't blame her, she's teething. Now, I don't know if she exactly knows what to make of this thing just yet, 
And instead of trusting her with a bottle of wine, we decided to put a hammer into it. And look at that. Hey, you can use it in your shop for an anti-gravity hammer holder. Why not? <laughs> Thanks, baby. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and staying to the end. This giveaway is actually still going on. So this right here, let's see if she approves. You want it? And this right here, you want these? <laughs> still going on now. So what we're gonna do in about, I don't know, three or four days time from now, we're gonna make sure that these get to some lucky viewers. We're gonna put those names in the hat and they're gonna be drawn. Congratulations to you two in advance. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, hit me up with a thumbs up. Again, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. And again, tell your friends about us. We're still relatively new, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.